Hello, welcome back. It's been a while since my last video, but my channel has suddenly blown up. Thank you to all the new viewers, it means so much to me. I'll talk more about this at the end, but for now, let's get into the memes. I'm gonna try going a bit more in depth in this video. Let me know how you feel about that in the comments. This tweet is showing off how strange the toilets are at the famous ramen chain Ichirang. The walls are seen covered in toilet paper rolls. It's not just this one location either. The replies are full of pictures from different Ichiran locations as well. On the wall beside them, the poster reads, We have installed multiple toilet paper rolls so that it will never run out. We also check and replenish all of them every day at least once per hour. Therefore, we are confident that we will never let the toilet paper run out. However, our company representative has been so insistent, saying, What if we still run out, inconveniencing our customers? To that, we have prepared our secret weapon. In the remote chance the toilet paper does run out, please rip this paper. And it has some extra toilet paper stored behind. That is so cute. Ichiran even has locations outside of Japan too though. There's one in New York. Here's some pictures from their toilet. They even have the same secret weapon ready too. If any of my viewers are from New York and have seen this, please let me know. One more thing, there's this person in the Twitter replies claiming that he saw a TV show where they claimed that a lot of toilets in Okinawa are like this. It didn't have any likes and I couldn't find any information to substantiate it even looking up the TV show. But if anyone lives in Okinawa, please let me know. Karaoke is actually Japanese if you didn't know that. Did you know the word karaoke is Japanese for empty orchestra? Isn't that hauntingly beautiful? Unlike the West, Japanese karaoke is generally done in private rooms. You choose an amount of time you'd like to sing for. Sometimes there's what's called free time where you can be there as long as you want until a certain time. And generally, you can get free soft drinks and ice cream. You can pay to order food and alcohol to your room as well. Anyways, when you have about 10 minutes left, the front desk will always call you to let you know your time is almost up and ask if you want to extend. This gentleman decided to, well, watch and see. I found this one hilarious. I'm sure the employee was shocked by his speed. <laughs> Yamato Transport, aka Kudoneko, meaning black cat, is probably the most famous delivery company in Japan. They're called Kudoneko because of their logo created in 1957, featuring these two cute black cats. Interestingly, while researching for this video, I found out that their logo was inspired by this American advertisement for a company called Allied Van Lines, actually. The Kudoneko logo was completely unchanged from 1957 to actually last year, 2021. Yeah, actually, they just changed it, making it so the larger cat's ear doesn't extend beyond the border and simplifying the limbs of both cats. I think it was a good change, personally. Just adding in this personal anecdote after I've finished the entire script and almost finished making the whole video, but uh, actually, when I first went to Japan around 10 years ago, I was on a date with a girl and we were trying to go to a cat cafe. And I remember looking around, looking around, trying to find one. And eventually I saw a building with a sign outside and it was the Kuroneko sign. And uh, I'm like, oh my God, over there. And she just looked and laughed. I mean, I'm sure it was very cute to her at the time, but it was a delivery company, not a cat cafe. All right, their famous delivery service is called Takyubin, which they write stylistically as Takyubin for some reason. Surprising to me was Takyubin is a trademark. I honestly thought it was just a word for home delivery, but that's actually Takuhaibin, which has the same meaning. The reason I thought it was a normal vocabulary word is because actually the movie you might know as Kiki's delivery service is called Majo no Takyubin, which I'm going to cheekily translate here as Witch's Takyubin, right? 
The 1989 movie is based on a book actually from 1985 with the same name. And according to this article I found, the book author actually mixed up Takyubin and Takuhaibin. The Studio Ghibli staff assumed because the book was published with the title Majo no Takyubin, there would be no problem using the same name. Eventually, Yamato Transport had to reach out and tell them that it was trademarked and they couldn't use it. But the Studio Ghibli staff, and especially Miyazaki, who's famous for being stubborn, refused to change the name of the movie. Eventually, Yamato Transport decided to sponsor the movie as long as they were given permission to use it in their own advertising materials, which they went on to do. Anyways, now that that little history lesson is over, here's the meme again. So, you know how some logos can have little Easter eggs in their design? Like how the FedEx logo has an arrow in it, or how the Toblerone logo has a hidden bear in it? This Twitter user realized that the logo for Takyubin actually has a secret in it too. This is the word. Look at the middle kanji. In this case, it means fast. Look at the bottom part. We call that a radical in the Japanese learning community. Look at the bottom radical. This radical is the character kokoro, which means heart. When it's on the bottom like this, it's actually called shita gokoro, literally bottom heart. Please ignore the first meaning, it's not relevant, mostly. Now look at the kanji and their logo. Notice the difference? The Takyubin logo's shita gokoro radical has been altered to have a little leg coming out, emphasizing, I guess, how fast they'll deliver your parcel. This tweet is a quote from an image board, where this image was posted saying, what happens when a chigyu gets into bodybuilding? If you don't know what a chigyu is, it's actually a great meme. I talked about it extensively in another video titled The Japanese Slang You've Never Heard Of, Cheese Gyudon, which I'd recommend you check out if you haven't seen it for more context. Anyways, it basically means nerd if you're not going to watch it. Some of the replies are hilarious. This guy put a body pillow under his arm, to which someone replied, Keep going! More, more. Add a t-shirt. And here's the final masterpiece. Here's some other funny image replies. And this one, parodying the original text of the Chigyu meme, says, He looks like he eats three flavor protein gyudon. This one shows Sakurai Sho of the men's idol group Arashi looking hilariously like he's wearing shoulder pads because of the chair behind him. There are three major convenience store chains in Japan. 7-Eleven, Family Mart, and Lawson. Today, I have two Lawson-related memes to show you. The first one is about this guy, the CEO. The tweet says, the CEO of Lawson's son's rebellious phase is so cute. I guess this is an excerpt from an article? It highlights a story that the CEO himself was telling about how his son had gotten some uh, family mart chicken, famichiki, and was going on and on making a big scene about how delicious it was. And then he was showing off his tea point card, which is also like a family mart thing. This reply is an ex Lawson manager confirming that family mart's chicken is better. And here's the second Lawson meme. It's a super old one that I think a lot of Japanese people have already seen. It says, There was a Lawson working at Lawson, with a picture of this happy looking fella. Yep, his name is Lawson. And here's a bonus Family Mart meme since we were just talking about it. Honestly, originally, I had an Abe-related meme in this video, but recent context has obviously changed, so I'll show you this tweet from yesterday that got 500,000 likes. <laughs> the high school girl asks to do a heart with him. He does it, asking, is this okay? They all freak out. <laughs> this was in Kobe the day before his death. Rest in peace, Abe. So I have a new idea to tell a funny or interesting story from my time in Japan at the end of every video. I guess I'll start now. 
Today's story is going to be a bit of an exception though, because it's not from Japan, but it did just happen to me and it kind of fits the video because it's a bit of a meme. So, Koko Ichibanya, which is generally called Koko Ichi, is a Japanese nationwide curry chain. It's delicious. I love it. I ate it all the time when I lived there. I love spicy food, and at Koko Ichi, you can select your spiciness on a scale from 0 to 10. It's not a linear scale though. A 5 is 12 times the spiciness of a 1, and a 10 is 24 times, for example. Like I said though, I love spicy food, and Koko Ichi can be really, really spicy. Apparently, you're not even allowed to eat above a 5 without eating a 5 before, but I was never really asked. A 6 is what I'd eat for a pleasurable dining experience, for example, but it's probably inedible to someone who doesn't like spicy food or someone who's, you know, not really used to it. After tons of quote unquote training, though, I managed to finish a 9 before, and I made it about three quarters of the way through a 10 before giving up. Anyways, I haven't been in Japan since about 2019, and I've been traveling around Europe recently. That's why I've taken a little break from making videos, by the way, if you were wondering. In London, they have a Kokoichi, so I decided to go. There's always a line outside, so I waited and took a look at the menu. There's a stereotype that British people can't eat spicy food. But when I saw the menu only went from 1 to 5, I was still a bit confused. When my Japanese server came over, I asked him in Japanese how they convert from the British scale to the Japanese scale. Is the British 5 equal to the Japanese 10? He told me they don't. A British 5 is a Japanese 5. They can make higher than 5 if you want, but they just don't put it on the menu. So I got a 9, but it still tasted like a Japanese 3. Like it wasn't spicy at all. I didn't even need water. Kind of weird. Also, to add more fuel to the British versus American rivalry, I looked up the menu for the Kokoichi in Los Angeles, and it does go all the way up to 10. So it's just the London one that stops at 5. I'd like to thank all of my OG viewers who waited four months for this video. Thank you. To all my new viewers, thank you as well. In about a week, I've gone from 400 to more than 5,000 subscribers. I seriously can't believe it. I'm so grateful to all of you. Thank you so, so, so much, everyone. See you again soon. Oh, yeah, and like and subscribe or whatever, too.